Okay. The screen's a little crooked, that's all right. I've never played this before, so. <laughs> That's a little loud. Yeah, I just got on. Sorry about that. Whoa. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go... That, whoa. My display is off. Okay, that that'll help probably. Sorry, sorry, getting this figured out. It's still too large, huh? Hopefully that'll do it. That looks that looks good. Uh, yeah, it's been a relief. <coughs> is is the audio okay? Is everything all right? Okay, cool. Right to move A to open or use. A to pick up weapons, B to swap. Zombies have broken into my home. This is probably your fault. It certainly isn't mine. The zombie monger well, called dibs on his big bedroom before anyone else. Hmm. I'm get Chloe to help fight the zombies for me and Chloe sweats visibly. I'm busy. I'm busy doing stuff. You gotta do it. Well, it was worth it. I tried. This might have worked on someone that was less of a jerk. Okay, I guess I'm Danny.
frying pan might be better than a baseball bat, he thinks. Meds, okay. Pick up chairs, I still throw chairs. Choose your pals wisely. Angry Trino, I think you'll have to leave this safe house. At least we got to rest for a while. We should try heading to Canada. Would you like me to travel with you? <coughs> people means more hands to loot and fight with. It also means more people to get in the way, eat up the food, and argue. Ah, uh, sure, let's... let's Get one more. Splickety splat. Always be looting. Burger! Wait a minute, was there a sparkly thing in the... Or is that some sort of like... Eh. Running off and beats fighting. Uh, is there any way to equip these guys? Was a noble bearing. Morale is bad for Danny. Reno's in good spirits, though. Oh, hey, they've all got weapons now. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna go back and pick up some more weapons. Glad I went and checked the menu. Bludgeoning weapon seems like, logically, to me, it would be the best option against, you know, the undead. Good luck out there! Okay. Esther misses hot water heaters most of all. Reno always seems a little distracted. <coughs> That's probably why he's so happy. You found the ladder out of here. This will end the story for Danny, but your story's about to begin. You'll make... Oh. I, I thought... That's what I was going to be playing with. Well. So much for gathering all that shit. 
You'll make your way to Canada, looting all the supplies you can on the way. You'll need to build up your skills and your team to survive. Okay. Nico, athlete, oblivious, surgeon, irritating, surgeon, mysterious past. Perk, ultra rip, ultra, ultra fit, ultra rift. What the fuck? Paranoid, explorer, berserk. Sun, healthcare, paranoid. Bailey, ultra fit, bandit. Gungeoneer, resilient type. Ernesto, friend of dog. Berserk. Mechanic resilient type. I like that. Okay. Devin hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, she decides to brave the death road and travel north. Charming characters get all sorts of bonuses, particularly in trader camps. So how's your evening going, B? Team members' morale gets too low, they will start arguing, despairing, and backstabbing. Okay. Zombies get more aggressive and numerous at night. Zombies smell you better if you're bleeding. Okay. Swing melee weapons around is exhausting until you increase your strength and fitness. Irritating characters always know the worst thing to say. They have a secret advantage. Fair can clear out an army of zombies if you're lucky. It's very dangerous to use indoors, okay? Some melee weapons break and some don't. Many common breakable weapons compensate by being light. So you can use them more without... Worked outside a bit. Tired, yeah. You, you were mentioning that you were doing yard work or something along those lines. Main pairs offer you different things depending on how much food you have. Cool. Character stats are initially hidden characters you recruit may be lying about their abilities. So heavy weapons can be powerful with high strength and fitness, otherwise they can be awful. Rifles have high damage and high piercing. One shot could splat an entire line of zombies. Didn't know. Zombies attack furniture that gets in the way. You can drop or throw objects to make obstacles. Punching a zombie with no weapon barely does anything besides making one let you go for a moment. Tired gives you big stat penalties. Clear by sleeping in the next camp or res resting before a mission. People need more fighters, also needs more food consumption. Start to sweat, stop swinging for a while. We'll do much less. Okay, good enough for now. Get food, plus eight. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Quiet factory, quiet hotel, or y'all mart. By Yalmart, you think they mean uh, Walmart? Because, you know, the kind of people are associated with it normally. <laughs> Clean up around the house before the snow flies. Bang. And here we are getting 74 degrees tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. The hotel might be good. Not, I wouldn't expect much food there. Factory, a bunch of different things. I have a feeling Yalmart is going to be the biggest mess, but it's going to have the most of what we need. So let's go there. Group sports and spots an abandoned Yalmart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. Your zombie forecast is swarm size, mild, aggression, sluggish. Current time, near noon. Good. Good. Um, it used to be more of a winter. We actually used to get snow out here before it would snow in the UK. But, that hasn't happened for, I don't know, eight years? Makes me sad. Makes me scared. Okay, I have a wrench. 
Drusilla has a knife, a scalpel? Scalpel, okay. Oh, apparently Devin is fucking stupid. He's in good spirits, though. I thought he was a mechanic! How, how, how's he me a mechanic if he's... Oh, that's just overall wits. It's not mechanical. Medical attitude, composure, loyalty, fitness, shooting, and strength. Okay. And Drusilla's more of the same. <clears throat> She's a surgeon. Okay, doesn't hold eye contact. That's fine. I, I get that. So we're both resilient. One's a surgeon, one's a mechanic. Devin is afraid of chickens! Well, hopefully we find no zombie chickens here. And what's... Flashlight? Okay. They both have two flashlights. Cool. Moving to the climate? Yeah. Let's boogie. So the wrench is kind of slow. Oh, she got a hammer. Oh, gas. And smokes? Oh, ammo. Food? Cool. Bathroom. Is there anything worthwhile in the bathroom? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go. I saw the hand, and I thought something was, like, coming through. Run, Drusilla! Run! God damn! Like, you're, you're obviously excited to, to be doing this shit, but... Yeah, yeah, that's it. You're getting tired. You gotta... You gotta pace yourself a bit, girl. Can we break this shit open? Oh, the cleaver broke. Oh no, the wood broke! More wood... Nothing really worthwhile. I'll grab a piece of wood, though. Ah! Man, this meat cleaver sucks. I mean, you want blunt weapons against the undead, right? I mean, that shouldn't really, again, rule of thumb, so... Oh, he's a tough one! Thank you, Drusilla. Oh, hey! Snacky things! Hey, guys, how's it going? You want a shopping cart? Bang! Bang! Shopping carts are good! Drusilla, no! Leave him alone! Save your strength! Don't risk it unless you have to. Shit. More bathrooms. Looks still empty, so we aren't going to spend time in there. Is there anywhere in here I haven't checked yet? I don't think so. Smash a computer! Wait a minute, can we bust apart the entire thing? No. Okay, and I'm not gonna tire myself out trying to. Drusilla, you, you, you gotta calm your shit. Okay. I guess check the... parking lot to see if there's anything else worthwhile. Shopping carts are apparently amazing weapons against zombies. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. So many 
175, total gas 100, 175. One total med medical, zero since one. We have some ammo, 36 zombies destroyed because that matters in a... <sighs> it's nearly time to camp, but there's been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who should stay up on watch? Um... Oh cool, you can... Zombie point zero of ten, whatever that is. Chassis, good. Engine, not as good. Only 15 driving days until Canada! So does that mean I just need to get through 15 levels? I say just. I mean, like, that's still a bit of a stretch, but... You see the sable I drew you? I know you're not super invested, but I wanted to mention it. I did briefly! Um... I only noticed it when I was at dinner and my connection was shit, so I need to go and and look at it again. Also, Arma, is my camera in a good position for this? I only just thought about it now, like, you know, um, do, I, do I need to move it? Is it obscuring too much of the game? Let's say Devin does it. Devin stands guard for the night. Oh, it's a she. She ignores the task and falls asleep almost instantly. The next morning, a bunch of supplies are missing. Devin! What'd you do? We lost all the gas we got our hands on. Cool. Devin's loyalty revealed. Bad. I wouldn't call it loyalty. That would be more like endurance, but okay. Maybe bottom left? The camera's in the bottom left, how... Like, where else would I move it? Well, 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 anywhere on the screen is gonna fuck with it, honestly. So I guess... I don't know. <laughs> the food is... I mean, it could have been worse. We lost, like, most of what we had, but... Oh, it's minus four per person? Man, why aren't these zombies running fast like in the movies? Um... The group spies the city from a distance. There's more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be groggy. At least at first. Your forecast is mild, sluggish morning. Driving in the city, the group spots something. Um... I figure there will be more... Um... Uh, I figure there will be more supplies at the bar, since what we seem to really need right now is food. Oh, it's okay. Just remember, if you hold up your hand and it makes an L, that's the left. Alright, let's try that then. Bozo, you leave the car alone. Well, I thought the bar was down there. Where the fuck is the bar? Moe's Pub. Okay, got it. Ammo. Hey, buddy. 
Devin has seen this kind of thing before. This person clearly drank too much soda, judging from the bottles lying around. Nice in need of food to even out his blood sugar. There might be some food in a nearby building. Leave him alone. Extra pair of hands might be nice, but I don't know if I want to... Old-fashioned love tester machine. Will this... Sure, let's try it. Casanova. Devin feels oddly flattered by this. Real increase. shells. Cool. If I had a shotgun. Mech hit. Healing spray. Gas in the toilet. Ha ha ha. Isn't that funny. Oh, you're, you're a big one, aren't you, buddy? Food in the trash can. Well, take it where you can, I guess. Once again, gas in the toilet. Double smash! Eesh. Squish. Uh, sorry. Nope. Didn't mean to bother you, miss. I wish there was an option to reclose the door. That would be nice. Nope. Nope. GTFO. Mega gas. Anything here? No, okay. Cleaver, get the, what was it, a rifle? Some munitions. Double smash! Check the fridge. Check the trash can. Oh. Oh! Okay, we're, we're doing alright. We haven't gone upstairs yet. Let's check there. A single desk chair in an upstairs room. Okay. I'm sorry, dude. I don't really care about your blood sugar. Um, we need food and to hit the road. And we're already low on food. Got a shotgun out of it, though, so that's cool. Okay, and everything else here is covered in what's supposed to be, I'm guessing, wreckage and... Kits, ammo, rifle ammo, shotgun ammo, okay. Who's gassed or so? None of these zombies has anything interesting to say. Group runs into a very out of place vending machine. It looks like someone made it from chunks of scrap iron. Its lights are still on. Everything in the ma machine costs $20, and the group has about that much in wrinkled and frayed bills. Oh, I think we're doing okay on gas for now. Try it. You should feed the mostly rotted dollar bills in the machine. Um, it takes forever to feed the dollar bills. The vending machine keeps spitting them out. 
Oh, morale goes down. Okay, I thought it was going to be like reveal their patience or something. A loaded Dolt revolver pops out of the vending machine. Get pistol ammo. We should try to set the zombies on fire more. Easiest way. I agree. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible all night! Everybody's morale goes down. The group eats a decent meal. Lose four food. Okay. But well, if you have a decent meal, you should be happy about that. That's that's not too much to ask for, is it? Uh, I guess to some people it is. <sighs> Still makes mistakes while scouting a town and gets cornered by a large group of zombies while unarmed. That yes. Heavy garbage and a large fence. Ooh. Fight or flip. What what do you think, B? You think Something is going to work out better than the other. Throw garbage or use parkour. Okay. Tries to scale the fence, but is way too out of shape to do so. The zombies attack. Drusilla is hurt. Drusilla's fitness is awful. Still so tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, with preserved food being the new currency. You have eight food left. A trading camp? Uh, no, we need our food. We only have two days worth of food. Next time I stop, I want to use the car battery to power my game console. Only if you 1v1 me. No items, no bullcrap. The group takes a wrong turn down a country road and comes across a house. The house is a large mushroom, nearly as big as a person. There's a little gated area outside with some sort of exotic rodent grunting inside of it. A gnome steps out of the house and starts shrieking and pointing at you. Um... Let's try to recruit him. Nomi jumps into his rodent thing. You have a zombie problem? That's gnome problem. The rodent rears back and whinnies dramatically. Nomi points towards the horizon and winks. Nomi's strength is awful. Nomi's attitude is good and Nomi's medical <laughs> knowledge is good. Nomi joins the team. Oh, well, hopefully he only eats like one unit of food so it goes up to like five as opposed to like another Two. That would be good. Onward to Canada. Okay. Drusilla is fully healed by Nomi. Lose a medical kit. Nomi treats all of their wounds. But if he treats all of their wounds, why does he have only like one hit point left? Whatever. The group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by a roaming horde. Siege alert! There's no escape! Horde size moderate. Current time late morning. Siege length one hour. Alright, try to survive. And... me the healing spray and the scalpel and oh let's have her wielding the hammer again I'm gonna start wielding that and carrying the gun Nomi's amazing in just about every regard except for strength um, 
Okay, the engine is going down on the car. Uh, the chassis is actually doing pretty damn good, so... Um, okay, I take it back. If his strength is that bad... Nomi, you're getting the gun. Hopefully the poor bastard doesn't get shot backwards when he uses it. Got 60 rounds in it. Okay, so even if he's a shit shot, he won't be too bad. Did I ever tell you a friend and I have a joint custody gnome? She wanted a garden gnome and we found one for $40, so we each pitched in for 20 No, you did not! Uh, my, my girlfriend really wants to get a gnome bee, which is a zombie garden gnome. In fact, she wants to get a few of them. And our front yard is basically just like dead plants and dirt because we don't really want to do a lot with it. So I was thinking like we get a bunch of gravel and gnome bees and like build some miniature like burned out buildings and have like um you know gnome zombie apocalypse type looking yard. I don't know how much that'll scare the neighbors or the town, but it'd be fun. All right, let's rock this shit. <laughs> Guys, let's get inside. Siege is over. You can now try to escape. Okay! Getting gas from toilets. That's silly. What is that? A nail board. I think it's gonna work out too well. Alright, where we just exit. Do you want to walk back to the road? Yes, let's hit the road. Okay, so we've got gas for another about well six days. Plain medicine. <coughs> Pistol ammo, good. Rifle ammo. Eh, could be better. Um food's doing okay. <laughs> the well of wishes hides in the crypt of decay! Who feels inspired after managing to survive that situation? They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Ra morale and random skill gain. I think that's a. Uh... Oh, what do we got now? Let's go for that. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Devon's mechanical increases. Drusilla's medical increases. Zombo point earned. Use ZP to unlock traits, perks, and more on the title screen. Okay! I guess this is forever now. It sure feels like forever. The group sets up camp at the safest place they could find around, an abandoned mini golf bar. The group eats a decent meal. Minus si Oh! That's bullshit. Nomi. Why does Nomi eat as much as a full person? That is... That is silly. In the morning, they find a golf ball and 
putter while searching the area of the group decides to play a quick game. Drusilla gets some needed exercise. Drusilla's fitness increases, okay. Devin's morale increases. Drusilla's morale increases. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I played a lot of zombie games. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Um, boy. Big house seems like the safest bet. Factory rescue, I don't know if I want anybody else on the team yet. And Raging Inferno looks like it's, um, a challenge. <laughs> Scaring the neighbors can be fun, though. Gnome is a person, too. Don't be gnomist. The town's been burnt to the ground. There's a large house looming on a nearby hill, even from far away. It looks completely swarmed with zombies. I can't go back? Swarm size moderate. Aggression calm. Current time afternoon. Oh, so I'm gonna have to hurry. I'm gonna actually do you use the healing spray on yourself or on I mean it seems like it's something you would use on somebody else uh, maybe she can use that on Nomi Use your gun! worthwhile here. Guys, move or lose it. Quite literally. Tater chips. Oh, there's ammo back there, huh? Oh, that's probably medical supplies. Oh, there's a gun there. Let's let's finish these off. And do some some inventory management. Oh, yeah. Use your thing. gas from behind the oven? That, well, I mean, that would make more sense than the front, I guess, but... Four 
420. Regular hammer is probably going to be a little better than the ball peen hammer. Uh, that place looks empty. 450. Man, where have we been? No, I already went in there. Sorry, my bad. Go up. Are we going there too? Did we continue up? Did we already hit the end with that? I think so. Okay, well. Backtrack. I don't see any other place to take advantage of. GTFO? Oh no! Shit, that was only that one part of the house. Uh, okay. Ignore him, guys. Let's... Devin finds a magazine in good condition among the room. Magazines and books magazine. Title is Cool Runnings. Okay. Alright, guys. Keep moving and grooving. in mind, guys. We're only here to, to collect supplies. We're not trying to... Oh, yes! Um... I'll give you the hammer. I'm gonna give you the wrench. I'm sure the hammer is... Probably a better move. I'm gonna trade the tennis racket for the shotgun. Okay, now I think the house is done. It's six o'clock. Looks like. Uh, yes, let's go. Okay. We're going on the medical. We got plenty of ammo. Did we didn't get any gas, did we? Shit. That's the magazine. Cool Runnings. Who should get to read it? History Cool Runnings. She absorbs the contents. Sadly, she ruins the magazine for others due to her grimy fingers. Well, wow, better fitness. Okay. Hey there, Rx! How's it going? This wouldn't have happened if Obama... I know! Thanks a lot, Obama! <laughs> there finds a new person. Jeanette. She's alone and wants to join the team. Jeanette claims to be a great shot with a gun. She talks about a past life as a police officer. Not just any cop, a super cop. Eh. She looks fun, so I guess we'll let her in. So, Rx, how's it going? How's it been? How's your... Did you been able to stream lately? Um, I know that, that you hadn't for a while. How's work been treating you? Oh, and I got I got all my cameras set up for, for my cooking stuff. I don't I don't think anything's gonna happen this weekend, but... This week... Mm -hmm. Group six to Jeanette to the team. Jeanette joins the team. Onward to Canada. Okay! A man in makeshift armor made from... Athletic gear is standing guard in the middle of a narrow wooden bridge on the road. He's wearing boxing gloves, staring forward at the car, signed as he blocks the way past. What? We don't have an option to just talk with the guy? What jerks. Jeanette swears copiously. Okay, she has a gun.
let's give her the shotgun just in case. I mean, hopefully if... Eh. You there, Rx? My chat's still alive? Is everything okay? Let's try pushing him off the bridge. Group gets out of the car and tries to push the bridge guard off the bridge. It's no use. The armor man just socks the group with his boxing gloves. Everybody is hurt! Uh, Devin's and Drusilla's strength is revealed. Okay. Jeanette's strength is revealed. Not awful. Devin's fitness and Nomi's fitness. Jeanette's... And ignores the armored man standing in the bridge and crashes right through. Thunk! The car gets through but takes some damage. Okay. Everything smells a lot different than it did before soap became rare. Exhausted after an extra long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot and falls asleep immediately after. The group eats a decent meal. Okay. Well, I mean, like... Nothing bad happened there. That's cool. Oh, why did it suddenly get so loud? Car has completely run out of gas and goes to a stop. Car abandoned! Or at least letting you know chat ain't dead. That's good. Okay. Gotta look at the positives. The group is ambushed while crossing a rickety bridge over a river. The bandits demand a toll to cross. They want the remainder of your food and a quarter of your ammo and medical supplies. Nomi, no! We're all gonna die now. Nomi was the healer of the party. Well, fuck. While walking along a dirt road, Drusilla thought that she spotted a car in the distance. It was only when she got close to it that she realized it was just a giant rock. What a shame! Everybody's morale decreases. I'm disappointed. Like, all this time, Nomi could have healed himself, but he didn't. Walking along the road, Jeanette spots a gas station in the distance. Not a lot is there other than a cool-looking muscle car next to the gas pump. It has the key sitting on the dash. Muscle cars like this have a slightly worse gas mileage than average and break down fast. They're easy to repair and very fast. Take it off... Take it off a sweet jump. Everybody's morale increases. Start it up! While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Okay, everybody's health is, like, not horrendous, but not bad. Man, Devin is... Basically, shit at everything, isn't she? Drusilla isn't that great either. Well, Jeanette isn't too bad. Oh, sweats copiously. Earlier, I thought it was swears. Whatever. My bad. I'm dumb. Sorry. Hey, no sweat, dude. Take your time. No big deal. Just want to make sure I didn't lose you. He's the only good character. The rest could die for all I care. Janet knew some people that became crazy preppers long before the zombies happened. I know a few. Their cabin is located nearby and it's still fairly early in the day. Your zombie forecast is mild, irritated, and in the morning. So, okay, not too bad. You'd think that zombie survivors would have more going for them. Is it Jonette or Johnette? I mean, to me, like Jeanette, I've heard that before, but it, it's not that I'm reading it, it's like it's John, so is it Johnette? That's Boogie!
Alright, I'm picking up a chainsaw. Let's say, guys, get yourself some weapons. So we really don't want to use the chainsaw unless we have to, that's okay. A couple of pistols, a couple of or shotgun, rifle, and chainsaw. You know, the chainsaw's cool, but... Um... Cool as the chainsaw may be, I don't want it eating up gas that we could use. Okay, there's not much up there. Let's get the fuck out! Food is better, okay. Gas is doing well. I thought we grabbed ammo while we were here. Whatever. Where are you going? You're shooting everything isn't the best idea. The group finds a makeshift surgery room. In one corner is a skeleton with a double barrel shotgun and prosthetic chainsaw hand. Both empty. Ah ha! Chainsaw hand? That seems like a good idea. Replace someone's hand with a chainsaw. Loot supplies instead! No, we don't want to be eating a fucking gas with a chainsaw. What'd I just say? What are you playing on? Familiar, rare, lo I just started the game. This is my first time playing. I'm just a vanilla game, I guess. Instead of going through with the hand replacement surgery, the group loots all the medical supplies in the room. There's even a healing spray! The chainsaw hand was designed for arm-mounted use only, so it is left behind. Okay. That's an Evil Dead reference, right? Yes. Man, what do I... Ugh, probably getting a big nasty zit on my forehead. Cool. Jeanette talks about dinosaurs. Group finds an empty spot along the road that looks as good for camping as any. Group eats a decent meal. Okay. Devon is fully healed by Jeanette. Jeanette treats all of their wounds. Okay, so everybody's almost at full health. It has started to rain over the city. The zombies become more aggressive in response for reasons that have not been explained. Your forecast is mild, irritated morning. Furniture store or apartment with bark banner. Uh, I feel like the apartment would have more, but normal then. Okay. Hey there, 2D. How's it going? Yeah, I need to, I need to check that schedule. good for now. Well, let's get her the revolver.
Morale is good. Medical. Strength and fitness. Okay. Man, thus far, thus far Jeanette is the most practical out of everybody here. Good call on picking her up, I guess. I wasn't sure when she was like, I'm not just a cop, like a super cop, but... Okay. Oh, don't hit the car. Okay, whatever. You gotta calm your shit. Fine, smash. Nope. Not going that way. Let's go up first. Not going that way. Or that way. Damn, that was a waste. Alright, guys. Cell is angry. She's got like zero chill. Not a... Okay, it's 11 a.m. Anything else to... No. No. They're getting angrier. They're most definitely getting angrier. Bark! Okay, that's what we were looking for. Keeps shotgun rounds in their grandfather clock. I like it. Dog! The dog seems unusually tame. Most dogs that are still alive have become feral at this point. This dog seems eager to see humans. Let dog follow you! Claudio starts following Devin. He could be useful if you can get him out of here alive. Or any distraction if you can't. No, don't eat doggo! Beta time starts tomorrow at 2pm and ends at 4. Oh! Oh, okay. I might be able to get in like an hour? Man, I don't know if I can even do that because... Man, it's my mom's birthday tomorrow. 
and we're going to have dinner with her. We need to... Um, shit, I'm sorry, dude. I don't think tomorrow's going to work then. I'll see, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I'll keep checking the schedule. I'll get in there at some point. Doggo has hammer! Dog's a badass. Yeah, that's all rated. Everyone, zombies destroyed. Okay, Claudio catches up with the group at a safe point. He seems like he wants to stick around. Recruit Claudio! The group accepts Claudio to the team. Claudio joins the team. Onward to Canada! Okay! Yeah, the soundtrack, like, um, what was it? If you watch, uh, PB and Jeff, they played this a bit, and they were talking about how, like, part of the, what gives this game its, its charm is its music. Like, <clears throat> the graphics are, 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 you know, old school. They're crisp. But the music paired with that, even though it's like a zombie game, keeps it upbeat and fun. Next one is Sunday, and that starts at 11 a.m., ends at 6 p.m. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be in at 11, depending on, you know, how late I stay up the night before. But I can definitely fit it in at some point. Your finds a street in a town that has traps all over it, pits with blankets put over the top, snares everywhere, spikes on barrels, a door with an obvious guillotine over it. These are just the visible ones. Send a scout to explore for loot. Um, not Claudio. He just got here. Let's not let's not kill the doggo right away. Jeanette, Jeanette, because. She's a super cop, and she should know what she's doing. Starts scavenging through the town, avoiding traps to the best of her ability. She is careful about where she's going. Many traps are spotted and set off safely. Jeanette avoids injury! Yes, I did the right call! I did the thing! Alex did the good. Seven food, ammo... Jeanette's mechanic... Total win! And more gas! So let's take the car off some sweet jumps. No, don't do that! Let's just get there. We're almost there, I think. The group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit. Jeanette even finds an old, somewhat stale, extra large pack of marshmallows. Um. The group sets up camp and eats a huge bag of marshmallows instead of eating dinner. There's even some left over. Okay, that worked out too. Well, no use turning back now. The group is blocked by another survivor group that set up a barricade to protect themselves. They are distrusting and heavily armed. The person they send to talk is extremely annoying! Who should go... Who should try to deal with them? Um... Alright guys, I'm gonna grab a beer. And I'm gonna use the bathroom. Let's put another one on the counter. Um... I want some feedback here. I have two lines of thought here. I'm liking what Jeanette's throwing down. Take a detour. Just avoid that shit. But, as B just pointed out, 
Doggo or cute? Claudio was... You want to talk to him? Just just cute dog. We have cute dog let us through. Um, it's it's going to be one of the two. Either go around or send in Claudio. What do you guys think? Submit your votes now. I'm going to... Oh. Be back in like, I don't know, five, ten minutes.
Well, I was asking for input to like... Because originally I was like, yeah, send the dog. Dog is cute. That'll work best. Or, you know, then there was the option for take a detour. We have 75 gas. Oh, the engine isn't doing too good. Claudio's a little bit hurt. Morale is not the best. Let's just go with a detour. Take a detour, this is usually a bad idea. Take some extra time and gas, but not too much. 36. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, ignore the traitors. We'll just raid as we go. Are we there yet? The group is surprised by a large horde of zombies while scavenging. They run into a house for shelter and plan their next move. Siege alert! There's no escape! Very large! Near noon, one hour. Okay, so... They won't necessarily be sluggish. But... It could be better. Um... Claudio gets an axe. Okay, I think I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. Get going! No! No! That is exactly what we didn't want! The siege is over. You can try to escape. Okay. Well, if it's over, let's keep... Oh, I can't go that way. Shit. I can't go that way either. Damn. I didn't even realize. I guess we got everything there was to happen here. That was intense. Uh, yes, let's go! <laughs> More food, more gas, some munitions, okay. Car's not doing too good. Who feels inspired after managing to survive that situation? They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Claudio, full heal! Zombo points earned, okay. The car is broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. I man the car. Devin, you're a mechanic. Give it a shot. She completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it. Car abandoned. Devin's mechanic will reveal. But she's a mechanic! Oh, what a waste. Devin. Devin. 
You were the character I started with. You're not my hero anymore. You get sandwiched by zombie hordes while on a cliffside road. Without a car, the only way to escape was by jumping and hoping for the best. The fall was painful, but not fatal. Okay, everybody's hurt. After an entire day of walking, the group finds a safe camping spot. The group is very hungry and they eat an extra meal. Wow. That... Alright, Jeanette. You are now the new hero of this group. God damn. It's ambushed by awkward bandits that apologize for the robbery. They are likely new at this. Refuse and fight. The group knows that every single one of their supplies is essential for their chance. Everybody's hurt. Town Jeanette finds a small sporting goods store. It's picked clean of loot. Thinking it's all off, Jeanette spots an old SUV in the back of the store. SUVs have crappy gas mileage and are slow. They're also very durable and they break down slowly. Just don't bother taking it off jumps. <coughs> well, I guess that's... Don't you need to be good at being a mechanic to be a mechanic? Yes, yes. That's why I was so angry about it. That's... It's like that's literally the skill of this character and they suck. What? Mm. Rue camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. The group is low on food and eats less. Morale goes down. Just go to sleep. What's all the zombie stuff? The zombies in the city have stirred. They are already aggressive as the group arrives. Your zombie forecast is moderate, irritated, late afternoon. Oh! Bad time. Bad time. Let's go to the pet shop. I mean, dog food is still food, right? Claudio is a board. Dog like stick. Right, Jeanette. You are giving the axe to Claudio. She has a med spray? Yes, so let's try that. Who else needs heals? Claudio needs heals. Well, that was meant for Claudio, but Claudio did not get it. Okay. Damn it! Okay, well, axe broke. This is going bad quickly. Should have just led to the room we were in a moment ago, shouldn't it? Whatever. I won't think on it too much. Oh.
junk. A little bit of gas, okay. Claudio has a board. Doggo gets stick. Some gas, okay. Gas, cool, we need it. Especially if we're in an SUV. Bleh. Nope. Double nope. Triple nope! Fuck off, guys. Okay. Oh, uh, it's 7.15, it's getting dark. Oh, I missed a door. Shit. Never mind. My bad, my bad. Get out. Just keep moving. Good boy, Claudio. Dog friend! The dog is feral. It's no longer capable of trusting humans. The dog's eyes glimmer with a recognition for a brief moment. Yeah, leave the dog alone. Dog can have its bone. Store doggos went and ate all them zombies, huh? Well, we got some food out of it, some ammo, not bad. Explosive just as dangerous to us as they are to zombies. Okay, yes, that's true. We find a strange repeating message on the radio. It's a series of short bursts of music, beeps, spoken numbers, and haunting slide whistle noises. There's also a kazoo in there. Everybody's kind of dumb. Let's ignore it. If you can have a team of just dogs, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, we need more meds to heal people up. But we're doing not too bad. Campground smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. Um, seven days. Oh, and only one day's worth of fuel. Shit. endorse the smell zone all night until passing out. They're not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep. Okay. Driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Fancy house. We need gas. Group spies a house that looks expensive from the outside. There must be something in there worth checking out. Moderate, calm, near sunset. Okay. So we need to try and hurry. Claudio has an axe. All right, cool. Holy shit, I think I just crashed the game. Trying to swap an empty spray with an empty spray. <laughs> uh, there's a trash can there. Shit, I didn't even think about it. I could have just thrown it out. Uh, I was hoping it would combine them and then I wouldn't need to worry about it. Whoops! Well! Wow. 
Let's try this again. <laughs> Fancy house. All right. Now that I know what I'm doing, let's let's try this again. That goes to the trash. Okay. Oh, so it gives you like three chances to throw it away. That's cool. Just in case you. Give her the scalpel, why not? Claudio has axe, good. Baseball bat, pistol. Okay, I have a rifle and a pistol. She's got a pistol, she's got a pistol and a revolver, so we're gonna give her the shotgun. Can Claudio use a pistol? I mean, I get the feeling Claudio's better off with the axe. Dog with a gun! No, let's let's give Claudio the axe. I think that's still the better option, but Dog with a gun Is game over? No, it's not game over. Although I need to start taking my vitamins before I forget. Should have done it as soon as I got back in, but well, I forgot. <laughs> Pardon me. Claudio is a dog. Dogs used to be pets, most are feral. Dolt 45. <laughs> ha! Jeanette's good. Everybody else is kind of useless. I said moderate. This place is packed. Good doggo. Doggo, get axe. Doggo, get... No. No. Doggo, get axe. Thank you. No use there. Smash it! Uh, we'll, we'll hit that one up on the way out. my character not turn around if 
piece of paper has a series of numbers on it that looks like a padlock or safe combination. Devin picks it up. Okay. Dog was a real pound puppy, knows how to pound him good. Yes. Claudio, pick up your axe. Pick up your axe. Ugh. Claudio, get axe. Okay. Man, Claudio is fast! Fast, doggo, fast! Guys, cool. Let's get out. Claudio doesn't possess the brain necessary to be able to open a safe. Just another example of the human world's <laughs> anti-critter bias. All right, so we probably need to go back to Devon. When it and opens the safe, along with some now useless papers it had. 80 gas. Let's get the gas. Alright, Claudio, lead the group. Doggo away! Um, is there another weapon I can pick up while I have... You know what, Claudio did... Well, I should get the axe. I should get the axe. Somebody else can use it. Yes, let's go. Jeanette is low on medical supplies. Yep. Group stumbles upon a Swole of Flex Home Strength and Fitness Machine, TM. You don't see these much anymore after all the lawsuits against it and the government ordered recalls. Ah, uh, Stay the fuck away from it! It's becoming rare to see a dog that trusts people. You have seven food left. No! We already have dog, thank you! The car gets too swarmed with zombies, we can abandon it. Yeah, we don't want to though. Man, Claudio is just so fast. Like, move around, get stuff, and then get the fuck out. Doggo is best character. Doggo is best character. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Group says they'll camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them and will probably attempt to loot the place. No, let's not, let's not get in a fight. Got some cans of food. There will be other grocery stores with less humans to worry about. The group eats a decent meal. Oh, it isn't eight. Doggo only consumes one food. Like the gnome should have. Claudio barks at random wildlife. As the group explores the campsite, they're ambushed by bandits. They brandish makeshift weapons. They demand all of your weapons. This is ludicrous. Not even bandits will usually do this, as it's a slow but sure death sentence. <coughs> These weapons are crude, but they're still dangerous. Everybody's hurt. Okay. Maybe you should turn back. Maybe you should shut up. <laughs> Stronghold Shopping Mall. Eh. Stronghold seems like the best bet, but I have a bad feeling about this. 
Good old Han Solo. Okay. I think we need food and gas. Gas can get us another day. Six days. Oh, Claudio's in bad shape. We need food. Let's, let's go to the stronghold. <coughs> the apartment building was turned into a barricaded fortress. It's been completely overrun by a horde of zombies. On the plus side, they seem fairly docile for now. Thick, calm, near noon. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, let's go. Claudio drops the weapon when they attack, so we don't need that. Let's give the axe to her. Mm. So B about this pumpkin casserole. I don't know if it's going to be the first thing I make, but I'm going to do it. I have a few questions, though. Uh, oh, first thing, good news. I got my hands on a pumpkin, an actual pumpkin. In fact, a few of them. This is important because I want to cover how to actually prepare, like, a pumpkin. Additionally, I did not get one of the tiny ones. I got a big one. I got a carving pumpkin. There's a reason for this. The tiny baking pumpkins, they're actually, um, they're good for pies and desserts. Usually they're sweeter. The bigger ones aren't as sweet. Uh, on their own, they can be a little bit bitter, but once you cook them down, they have a nice flavor that is better for savory dishes. And most people think they can only get the baking or cooking pumpkins. So I wanted to show that that isn't the case. Um, that aside, the next um, question becomes, like, is there a certain protein you would like to use in this? Are there carbs or starches? I mean, like, pumpkin is already kind of up there because it's close to sweet potatoes in flavor. It is a squash. Um, I mean, like, what, what are you looking for from this casserole is my big question. Raid the pooper! Oh! Sorry guys. Damn! One hit dog kill! Haha! -ha. Sharp doggo teeth. Nope. Alright, guys. We gotta get through here. Got, gotta get. Don't shoot the doggo! Nope. Double nope. Thank you. 
Oh, risk my life for junk. No. Doggo is displeased with this. Later, losers! Come on, guys. Follow Doggo. Doggo knows the way. Uh, yes, let's go! Stay and find them, yes. They'll be back in a moment. I think. There they are. Some medicine, gas... This was productive! <coughs> uh, uh. Noodle casserole dish. The macaroni or maybe like a lasagna without the tomato. Hey, if you want tomato, I can put tomato sauce in there. I can make tomato work if you like it. Uh, Meat-wise, I don't know. Beef tends to be what comes to mind. Like a ground beef or maybe sausage. Do you like chicken? Who should get to read Swole? Drusilla gets it. She absorbs the content. Sadly, she ruins the magazine for others due to her grimy fingers. No tomato. Got it. Okay. Claudio. Woof. I do like chicken. I think sausage should be more flavorful. Okay, I can do that. Do you like spicy? The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. The group eats a decent meal. Um, no, we don't, we, we don't, we don't need, we don't need no wood. Just have a, a quiet night in. We don't, we don't need to be starting a fire. Car, a bandit. We can't just try and find some gas. It has to be abandoned. Mild spicy, okay. A zing would be nice, okay. Okay. What kinds of herbs do you like? Like garlic, like thyme. Seriously? Everybody's morale goes down just because somebody screamed NERDS out the window? Attacked by ants and must leave without sleep. Devin Drusella and Jeanette are hurt. Okay, if, hey, if you're not... One of the things I always told my clients was they're actually like, if I ask a yes or no question, there are three correct answers. Yes, no, and I don't know. Same th concept here. Like, you can say, you know, this or that, or just... Meh. So, I'll come up with something. A walking Drusilla steps her toe badly. It's not a big deal, but it's really annoying. She actually takes, like, physical, like, serious damage from stubbing her toe. A group of wrecked cars ahead. Chances are there's gasoline in some cars. One may still work. Uh, this is gonna be a bad time. And everybody lost their... Oh, Jeanette still has her... Her axe. 
Honestly, I want Jeanette to pull through this more than anybody else. Devin, you were supposed to be the hero. You were supposed to be the mechanic, and yet you don't know how to fix a car. Your mechanic skills suck. You get the board that is prone to breaking. Lucilla, you are the next best. You're getting a scalpel. Jeanette, you would be the true hero of this story. The true hero seems to actually be Claudio, but you're a good good second chance, so we're going to leave you with the axe, the shotgun, and the pistol. Oh, there are no pistol rounds left. Goodness. So it's only the rifle and the shotgun. Oh, those are spare ammos. Not what's in them already. Okay. Oh, they should be fine for now. What shoes would work with pumpkin? I'll think about that. I'm working on it. You don't think I'm not here? I'm here. I'm just not talking. I love this game. Hey, dude, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. You just do what you do. Enjoy the... Well, I was going to say morning, but I'm not going to be on here for much longer. Although I think I'm getting towards the end, so I'm probably just going to, like, run this until I die. Oaxaca? Maybe. I'll think about it. Renair flashlight? Mm. Maybe. <laughs> Guys, you need to keep up with Doggo. Doggo's best boy. Doggo's trying to save the day. Found a car, guys. Found a car. Oh, one of them died. Who died? Devin died. Devin deserved it. <coughs> the group is poking through an abandoned house and finds a Ouija board, TM, on the kitchen table. It's a common game used to communicate with ghosts. These things are rumored to be incredibly cursed with bad luck. So beware. Still, it might be worth asking it a question. Who will betray the team? Nobody. Where's the loot? Don't care. Who will make it to Canada? None of this. Forget that bullshit. Can we all just get along? Group is driving down a long stretch of road, no threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. I have zero food left. Unexpectedly, the group finds someone they can trade with. Um. Sad I lost everything that Devin was carrying, but at the same time, I don't care. I don't care. Okay. What do we want to sell? We have a lot of pistol rounds, 85 shotgun shells. We'll have her sell her pistol. Double barrel for three food. Man, three food is not going to help much. make bank being a forager here. Oh, 
I get in trouble if I raid the toilet? I hope not. Could you give me the list of ingredients? I think it might be fun to follow along while you stream. Okay, yeah, I, I can I can work on that. I'll need to think about it a bit, because one of the things I do is just kind of like... I'll, I'll figure it out, and then I'll let you know. Um, I will also... I will also... Um, Do you have a, a, a pumpkin to break down there? Because if not, I will give you, like, I'll, I'll make it stuff that you can buy at the store. Are you sure you can buy a carving pumpkin? They should be cheap. That's what you'd think, but we literally, like, I wanted to buy one, and I'm looking around, and it's like, I can't find any. I can't find any. Holy fuck. Everywhere is sold out. I just got lucky and found one to today. Man, everybody is in... Oh, everybody's stats are down because they're hungry and tired. And injured. Okay. Alright, let me know if you get one. You'll only need one. Um, one of them goes a long way. And if not, I'll, I'll, you know, uh, set you up for canned pumpkin. Okay, so I can trade one of each. We'll give her the double barrel for three. And... Adult for one. And that should give me four. Which should be enough. A huge city conquered by undead and sees that their only chance is braving the sewer system. When opening the manhole, a cacophony of groans spills out. This is not a good sign. This is thick, irritated. Nightfall. Oh, shit. I think we're all gonna die. Goes the dog. Alright, get your snack. I'll probably be dead by the time you return. Come back your way, that's a dead end. Sorry guys, didn't mean to lock you out.
Alright guys, you ready to boogie? Climb out! Okay. And we have our car on the other side. It feels inspired after managing to survive that situation and getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Uh, medical. Claudio's medical is middle of the road. Claudio's medical stays... Wait, what? Claudio's medical revealed. Playing Claudio's medical increases to bad. What? Genetis medical goes up. Two Zombo points earned. Okay. What's with all the zombie stuff? I don't know what you're talking about, Drusilla. Group sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. You discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the work in a sleepless night, but every bit could help. Um... Go to sleep. Mm. Everybody's morale goes down a bit, okay. And their physical did not? Oh, I was hoping their physical would increase. Oh shit. Perfect throwing rock on the ground. It's next to a low fence guarding a big fall. The bottom of the drop is a single zombie standing there staring at nothing in particular. It's too good to pass up. Someone must throw that rock at this zombie. Jeanette, I believe in you. Puts all her might in a mighty downward throw. The rock misses the zombie, but obliterates a small garden gnome. Everybody feels a little bit better. <laughs> car abandoned! How close are we? Four days. If we had a car. Uh... The van that has broken down the side of the road. The van is terrible. The bread is irreparable. The bread is moldy and inedible, but there are some sugary cakes that are still good. Motivation Twinkies. Okay. Just walking through the countryside is very uneventful, but at least there are no zombies or dangers in sight. For the first time in a long time, they're able to drop their guard and walk in some form of peace. Okay, cool. Here finds a long road full of abandoned cars and the zombies that may be used to own them. There must be a lot of gas still in their tanks, and there must be a card that still runs. Oh no, we're doing this again! <laughs> Running low on munitions. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck. Let's get this party going! Guys, keep moving. Use some bullets. I know we're running low, but we're getting close and it's getting tight. We gotta, we gotta push through this. Doggo is here. Doggo is guide. Believe in Doggo. We only need one running car. Come on, guys. Come on. You can make this. You use your guns. God damn it. The mullet gullet. Okay, you good? You good? Let's get in. That went pretty smooth. Cool. <coughs> While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Apartment rescue. I don't want to do a rescue. Uh, only four driving days until Canada! <laughs> Let's do the gas station.
All right, guys, we're going in. Oh shit, gas canister. Get inside, guys, get inside. Get food. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, fuck that, get out, get out. What? Okay. Literally heading towards the back door and it just... Everything blows up? I don't... Shit. <sighs> Dang it. Mad Garden and Rocket Cat Games. Okay. Well, I had fun. It's something I would like to do again. Uh, we just hit two o'clock. Perfect. All right. Well, there's the point where I'm going to have to wrap it up. New items in my inventory. Did I get cards from this? Probably. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Looks like everybody's here, but not. Oh, trading cards. Best one, Mountie. One of the reasons why Canada is the last remaining nation on Earth is due to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Not pictured, the Mech Division. <laughs> You got giant robots, that'll do a lot against zombies, uh-huh. In fact, if you can... If you bust out giant robots during a zombie apocalypse and you lose, you just suck. Ugh. <coughs> magical anime girl. Are her magical anime powers a blessing or a curse? Special ability becomes more kawaii by the day until she melts and then explodes. I did. I had a good time. A little disappointed. I'm going to need to check the uh, the replay. I was in a gas station, running around, and then all of a sudden, like, there's an explosion and just everybody dies. And it's like, what the fuck happened? Um, I don't know. Ricotta. Ooh. That seems like a bad idea, because once you cook pumpkin, it gets mushy. It's basically just a paste. And ricotta is already kind of that way. Um, I mean, certain, like, the Oaxaca, is it gets smooshy when you melt it, but it has some elasticity at least. But ricotta is... Like, ricotta's delicious, don't get me wrong, but it would make it more liquidy than anything. And that's, that's going to be something that I already need to combat when making the dish. So, generally speaking, soft cheeses, the softer it is, the more you want to avoid it. Um... You don't want something that doesn't melt at all, though. I mean, something like, let's say, feta would be nice. 
it would have a, a good flavor that would add some punch and really step it up but because it doesn't really melt it just kind of burns <laughs> um, not so much whatever I'll ruminate on it a bit yeah look, well feta is salty yeah um, I'm just using that as an example it was the first like hard cheese that came to mind something that you literally can't melt like something about its its composition just it doesn't go anywhere <laughs> it just browns uh, I don't know like I said I'll I'll work on it I'll see what I come up with. Anyway, it's two in the morning here. Much later for, well, at least a couple of the people watching. So, wrap it up. Um, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I'm not sure. It's my mom's birthday. We're having dinner. I don't know how late I'm going to be out. I don't think very late, but it might not work. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I'll let you know. I run stuff past you and we'll figure it out. And, um, yeah, let me know if you get that pumpkin. That's going to be step number one. Because if you can't, then, uh, I mean, canned pumpkin will work. It'll be fine as long as it isn't, like, pie filling. Because pie filling comes with spices and sugar. You, you don't want that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. I think so. I think so. Uh, I'm also trying to consider, like, whether or not I want to make something for her for her birthday. But I don't know what. It doesn't really matter. Not right now. <sighs> okay. Take care. Get some rest. I know I'm going to. And um, if all goes as planned, I'll see everyone tomorrow. Like if I were four again. Well, I never made mud pies when I was four, so that wouldn't help. <laughs> Okay, take care. Good night.